we've worked really hard this off season, and uh, we've also had a lot of leaders step up. Um, a lot of people think we lost a lot of our team leaders, which we did, but I think we've had even more step up to the plate. So I say we got a lot of players that are ready to ready to fill in. There's always gonna be somebody there at Air Force that's ready to play, whether they're a freshman, whether or senior, you know. And I mean, I feel like we have five returning starters, but we got a lot of guys that have played before, and that counts a whole lot. Just like, I mean, being a starter almost maybe sometimes brings complacency. complacency. And I feel like having, having guys having to compete for positions is just gonna make the team better. So I almost say, you know, bring it on. The uh, Mount West, I feel like we're gonna have a good year, you know? And uh, hopefully he got win, win a lot of games. Connor's a great leader. I mean, he's really vocal. I mean, uh, TJ was a lot of lead, lead by example. Uh, Connor is a lot more vocal, uh, and Connor has unbelievable worth, work ethic too in the weight room, and I think everyone respects him for that. I mean, that's just not just Connor. I mean, that's the entire senior class. I feel like we're uh, you don't see guys skipping out. I mean, we're in there every day working out. We're down there for another hour or two, like position work. You know, getting getting reps in. I mean, Connor's out there throwing with the wide receivers, tight ends, and slots almost every day. Like. A whole lot during the week, a whole lot more than what I've seen in the past, and it's just like stuff like that, taking ownership to your team, you know, just making it, making our our team, and rather than hey, practice today, now nah, like we're running practice today. You got two experienced backs in in West at tailback, if that's it, and Mike Dewitt fullback. You got a quarterback who is who's very capable of, of running. Um, he's shown that. You kind of look forward to seeing what you got getting. You know, not that you guys deviated from option football, but it's probably going to be a lot more run than it has been in the last four years. I think I think we're we're definitely looking forward to seeing what the new offense does, you know. But I don't, I don't know how much it's going to change. Or Wes is a great guy. Uh, I, I love blocking for all our backs. I uh, break my back for any of them. Uh, and he, he's a tough kid. You guys uh, have a early trip to Michigan. What do you look forward to most about a trip like that where you're going to be playing a team that is certainly on the national radar screen, uh, especially with what they did last year? You get to play in front of a, or in a historic venue, in front of a big crowd. What do you look forward to most about that trip? Um, well, first and foremost, I think it's the like second game of the year. That's, that's, that's like our, hey, get ready because the Mountain West isn't going to be any easier. And, you know, like we got to go into that game thinking that we, we can win it. Obviously, that's, we go into every game like that, but you know, it's, we just gotta find our stride, you know, and hopefully we can pull that one out. If we can pull that one out, we're gonna hit the uh, uh, beginning of the season running, you know. Well, I think anytime you look uh, to a big game like that, it's the atmosphere. I mean, the the atmosphere in the stadiums uh, like Oklahoma and Notre Dame, they're just unbelievable. So, I mean, as a competitor, when when you get that extra challenge of that home field advantage, you know. It's, uh, it's really awesome to take on that new challenge.